It's raining today, so I thought I'd make an hydrogen cell. Here we go. I'm using half inch stainless steel wire and a 3 8 extension out of a socket set. I'm just taping the wire to the extension bar, makes it easier to twist. On the extension bar I've got two bits of tape, black tape. They're about two inches apart, just so I get them the same length, because I want to make seven of these. And just twist away. Start the mark. If you twist, the tighter the better. All the way to the top. And then give it a trim. And then just get a couple more made. And that's it. Right, whip the tape off. I usually bend the ends over if I'm taking it off. There you go, there's one. After a minute, right, I'm going to give them a bit of a stretch to make them about the same size as the jar I'm going to use. If you stretch them a bit far, you can still squish them up a bit. Use the jar. Now I got the shape of these just by ramming a piece of cardboard into the jar and bending it and then cutting the bendy bits off. But it's what I'm going to use as an ins insulators. These are just cardboard templates. They fit together in, in like in a triangle, and then that gives us me seven compartments. And I, I found, I've got some um, acetate. I'm going to cut these out of acetate. There you go. General idea of how they're going to fit into the jar. Well, seven springs all about the same length. And the cardboard shoved in the jar. Just trim these off. I was going to loop that back to the top and join them together, but I just thought I'd snip it off for this one. Mark two next. I'm just checking them for coils which could a touching and things like that, just to make sure most of, nearly all the coils are apart. Everything in on this is approximate. There you go. And then just drop one inside each compartment. Now these are going to be wired around the outside, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And then I'm going to have the extra positive in the centre, that one. Let's make sure they're all going. And there about we have it. That gives you an idea of how it looks. Obviously the cardboard's going to re be replaced by plastic or the acetate. I think it's acetate. There we go. Well, we'll call it acetate. Here we go. I've used the cardboard templates just to, just to cut the shape out of it, really. All measurements are within about two inches. I mean, it's very agricultural, this, but it should work. Cut it out. It's a pain working with things you can't see. And it's curly. Right, just cut the slots in to follow the templates so I can slide them together. Right, now cost the curly. If I went up each leg and if I folded it, if I folded it in half and creased it, and then it just stiffened them up a bit, it made them easier to work with when I was assembling them in within the jar. Yeah, just fold it in half and give it a squish, and then it stays in pretty much the same place. I mean, a plus, it's, it's been rolled up for about 20 years. There we go, start sliding them together. 
and get them shoved in the jar, hopefully. What a pain this was to do. Couldn't see it. Managed eventually. Oh, at last. Now to put the electrodes and the anodes in. I can't remember which is which. One into each compartment. I bent the ends over the edge of the jam jar and then I used uh, a piece of inner tube to hold them all down and then I just sort of twisted them all to the right side and crimped them together with a lead crimp. Um, I used chocolate blocks a bit later on and there we go, the positive, last positive in the middle. There we go. And there we have it. You can see the inner tube stretched around the neck of the um, the jar, holding the contact still. Um, if you take a note of the ammeter, it jumps up to about one and a half amps. Now, in the jar, within the jar, um, it holds just over a pint of water, and I added about a half a teaspoonful of uh, bicarbonate of soda. And it's running off a 12 volt battery charger at about one and a half to two amps. And it's bubbling there. Hubble bubble, toil and trouble. Yeah, it's right in the, it's in the lowest part of the battery charger ammeter. Just a view from the top. I just have to make a gas container now. I'll have to, I'll have to do another video of that. There's the generator and collector. That's the generator. That's the collector with the diving weight on the top, help hold it down. And then the gas bleed off goes into the cup. I put a little bit of washing up liquid in there to get the bubbles. It's been bubbling for a few seconds. It's working quite well. Be very careful when messing with hydrogen. I'd love to get this to run a car or a bike. Ta-da! <laughs> Made from junk out of the shed. Thanks for watching.